Hey everyone, Mr. Hutch here, and we just got delivered the brand new Lego Spike Prime robot. And so let's go ahead and do an unboxing. All right, we'll get this opened up and take a look at what is inside. Ah, nice little case case here, nothing else. All right, so here we go, Spike Prime box. Uh, let's get it opened up here and see how this opens up. All right, snaps nicely. Uh, you're greeted with a nice little uh, quick start guide here, talking about the new uh, battery and programming hub there. And then it looks like on the back, they actually have a nice diagram that you can lay out so that you know where all the different pieces go. Uh, they lay out the other different piece options that you have and things like that. So right away, the first thing that they give you also is a nice little sticker sheet. And this tells you um, what numbers to uh, put these stickers on. So you can see they're all numbered in the corner. And so we'll just get those peeled off and uh, stuck on these little trays. So you can see the pictures match up and they tell you uh, which spot to put it on. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll see what else there is. All right, so I got the stickers all put on there, as you can see. And then they also do give you uh, blank stickers on the bottom to label your box, uh, label the battery, and also all the different motors. So if you have more than one of these, you can label them box one, two, three, or whatever you want. All right, let's go ahead and get underneath here. Uh, some really, really nice bags and things like that. Uh, right away, I see our uh, hub here. So let's get this opened up. And... Ah, here we go. Into the garbage. All right. So line up the prongs there. Clip it in. And... Maybe it comes with a factory charge a little bit. Yeah, check that out. Little LEDs on there. So pretty cool. So it does look like it comes with a little bit of a factory charge. I think other ones I've done, they're about 40% 40, 40 uh, factory charged. So there's that. Uh, those do need updated too. Um, comes with a micro USB cable. Um, there is no brick or anything that comes with it, but you at least get the cable out of there. Uh, some random papers. Here's these bags. Look how nice. I mean, you could have kids do this. Um, every bag is numbered, and so you can tear it off. Find tray one and dump them in. So pretty neat uh, organization system. So we go through and empty all of those into their correct into their correct bins. All right. Legos all loaded in their special compartments. Now let's take a look inside. All right. We have looks like uh, different attachments. Uh, we have three motors. Uh, this one looks like a pressure sensor. So running into something or pressing it. Uh, and then looks like we have a light sensor uh, you could put underneath. And then check this out, Look at the wheels on this. Neat material, neat material for wheels comes with just a bag of other accessory parts. And then we have just a bunch of different 
design pieces here, a couple rectangular pieces, and then some base plates here to build off of. So pretty cool. So that's what's inside the Lego Spike Prime kit. Uh, now I guess it is time to uh, download the app and update that hub. So let's see what that looks like. All right, after installing the Lego Education Spike application onto your computer, you can see that plugging in the Lego hub automatically prompts an update. So we'll go ahead and click update on that. I sped things up there, but it took about five minutes to do that update. Uh, and we can go ahead and click done. And right away they prompt you to rename the hub. So I'll just call it hub one and click done. All right, now you can see this really great site that uh, Lego provides. And take notice up here, uh, you have start where you can start to use Prime in three easy steps. And this is a great thing for uh, teachers, uh, but also to send students on uh, to introduce them to the Lego Spike Prime robot. So it has them create a basic emoji, it has them explore all the motors and sensors, and then it has them build a hopper and complete a little task. Uh, if you are just getting started as a teacher, or you want the kids to set up the boxes, uh, this is a really nice option for for you. You can see it literally guides them through um, setting up the box and doing those things that I already did in the video. So that's it. Pretty simple to unbox and get updated and get started, uh, especially if you're using the iPad app for uh, going through those little tutorials. Uh, it is a pretty cool uh, little robot. So anyway, thanks for joining me. We will see you next time.